So when we moved three years ago, I found a bag of my original, when I started knitting when the kids were little. So this is, some of this stuff is like 16 years old and I just, or 17, 18 years old. So it was just such a sweet like time capsule to see. I've talked about this before, how knitting, when we come across an old knitting knitted object, it just holds so much energy from our past, right? It, it tells us we can remember exactly what we were thinking and doing at that time. Um, and I think this was my first independently knitted. <laughs> um, I still have strings hanging from it now. Um, I knitted this. Okay, I can remember everything about this poncho. It's a poncho. And I'm going to put it on just for old time's sake. And I can tell you exactly, I remember which yarn I used. It's a poncho, but it's kind of a sweater. Right, it has a little bit of a, um, I don't know how to show you what it looks like. I'll stand up. So this is what it, this is the waist. I made a waist. It's got some kind of swancho-y like sleeves. And obviously I used up some various yarn. Um, kind of a fun thing to knit. Um, and I remember exactly, this yarn is Knit Picks. Um, I got it at Knit Picks. This is leftover, um, sw I had like, you know, leftover scraps from uh, Shetland Spindrift and the rest of it is, oh, this is, this was, what is it? Que Quebus, Quebusos from Schoolhouse Press. And these, this bright orange is Knit Picks. I have to take it off, it's hot. <laughs> but this, can you believe, I remember, it's so funny. And I remember exactly, my kids were, Sophie was in, uh, just about to go into kindergarten. And Max was still a babe. He was just about two. And I was just fallen in love with knitting and um, determined to make something. And this was, I made this, uh, I just started doing something from the top down. I started, I knit this from the top down. Maybe I knitted it from the bottom up because I do have this, they do have kind of like sleeves. It does have a sleeve. Anyway, just kind of really fun to like, but I can see this, feel it, and just remember exactly where I was in life. And I was a new mother. I was kind of still a little lost, you know, those years after you have a child where you're feeling a little lost and you don't really know who you are anymore. And you know you're a mother, but you don't really remember, am I the person I was before, you know, and I, knitting was something that just really gave me a sense of self. It was like, this is my identity in some way. And it was something separate from my kids, but connected to my kids. And I remember just pouring my heart and soul into this, this little outfit. I made this for Sophie. I just can't believe she was ever this small. This little poncho. I remember where I got this yarn. I remember I got this this yarn in a knitting store in Northport, Long Island. And it feels like it's been washed and it's a little felted. But I remember picking this out for Sophie and it had a matching hat, which I don't have. And it's basically just two. I remember that this is knit back and forth um, it was not in the round. This is pre-Elizabeth Zimmerman. That one, I guess, I think this is pre-Elizabeth Zimmerman, and that one is, I think, post-Elizabeth Zimmerman, the one I just showed you. Um, I sewed it up. I, it was two rectangles that I sewed. Not the best sewing job, but Sophie loved this, and she wore it, and it brings back the childhood of my, of my sweet little Sophie. Um, I made this. This is a Ravelry. This is a vest which I'm not going to put on, but a very thick vest that I knit in bulky yarn. Um, I think I bought it off of, knit, I think it was Knit Picks bulky. And yeah, this was just something, it was a quick knit. I remember where I wore it to. I wore it to a party in New York City to some creative friends, um, some of whom knew about knitting. So it was kind of like a thing to do to wear something. I was also a young mother. And um, this one is Sophie. I made this sweater for Sophie. It's a turtleneck raglan, raglan with a really high and long um, 
ribbing waistline, but she wore this. This is a funny story because I, <laughs> this I think was not a pattern. I think I did this based on Elizabeth Zimmerman's um, EPS system. And it was not, the, it, this is the second try because I remember what happened was that I made the head too small and um, we had to rip it back because it couldn't come over her head. And I didn't know the whole thing about like how the head, there was like an actual mathematical measurement for the head. It was a hat that I knit for Max. This is the Elizabeth Zimmerman, um, what is it called? The ice cream cone hat or something. It's a series of, of decreases that creates this circular, I, it's a mistake. There were many mistakes in this. It's not correct. My son wore it and it's so precious to me and I, I made these pom-poms. And this yarn, I remember, it's so funny. I remember this yarn, this yarn, my son is now 16. Um, and you know, when I showed this to him, he was like, really? I don't remember that. <laughs> um, it's, what is that yarn called? On Fox? No. I don't know. I can't remember. It'll come to me later and I will put it on the thing. It was like, it was sold in my daughter's nursery school, which was a Waldorf school and they sold this yarn. And, um, yeah, so these are the sweet things that I knit for my children. And this is just, I think such a, it, like knitting just is so amazing because it, it just marks the time of your life. Like, I think that that is in some ways better than a journal entry, right? You're finding a piece of clothing that your children used to wear. You can, you know, see their actual size. And it's it's like a three-dimensional kind of time capsule for that moment. And yeah, it's so, so precious. So yeah, so I'm going to share with you some things that I've been knitting recently. And also how I've been styling them with thrifted items of clothes, which I think... Um, is a really great way to not only be thrifty, but also to consume less and get better quality clothes. This, it's a um, sort of a cape piece, a shawl piece, and you can just kind of throw it over. It can drape like that sort of perfect for a summer night or a spring wedding. Just really, really light and just fits perfectly, feels really, really elegant, unusual and perfectly dressy. Okay, the next piece I'm gonna pair it with is the, um, what is the name of this sweater? I can't remember. Um, but I think, just think it looks really great with this. It's short and I, you could even like wear this to like a dressy after work event. Um, it just looks very unusual and the cropped nature of it kind of just fits the skirt and makes it look really sweet. Not too dressy, unusual. Okay, so this is a sweater that I made, a really classic kind of piece, just a simple raglan sleeve, a really nice blue color, very warm with a split hem. And I'm wearing it with these khakis that I picked up at the thrift store. And I think it's just a, an easy everyday look. It looks put together, polished, kind of classic. You may not even know that I knit this mask. Here's a vest that I knitted and I'm wearing with a skirt that is not thrifted but I purchased it at Etsy. The vest is really cropped and is perfect for skirts that are high-waisted or pants that are high-waisted and it just I really love how it falls in this particular outfit. There's little cap sleeves so this can be worn over a shirt it's um, it's just a really simple and basic piece that I know I'm going to get a lot of use out of. And I just love the, the basicness of it, actually. It's just a reusable and fun piece of clothing. These are a pair of 
we were loose fitting pants that are high waisted that these this vest works really really well with. Um, that length is really good and it just gives so much opportunity like just especially for this time of year for fall. It's great with bracelets. You can put a nice like chunky bracelet and a cool necklace. So just leave it as is and it's just a really streamlined, clean and easy look. Here's the Robinia sweater, really oversized, voluminous sleeves, which work great, pulled up, look, you know, really nice in a high-waisted trouser, tucked in, looks very modern, um, doesn't necessarily look like something you made, um, but really kind of has a lot of character and a lot of style, and you can pair it very easily with thrifted items and you've got a great looking outfit. Here's my Carlina vest, also paired with, I'm getting a lot of use out of these trousers. It's, you know, it's just a really nice look for oversized knits and it's great for this time of year because you can just throw it on and be warm, but at the same time not be too warm. And in the winter, when it gets really cold, you can put something underneath it and they'll still be toasty. This is such a beautiful print. I love, I love the colors. I love the combination of colors. It's a really beautiful, one of my favorite knits. And I still get lots of use out of it. 